I've been painting for about two years now. I roughly made around 50 paintings. My friends and family who see my paintings tell me I'm a pretty good artist. I know that's a lie because I never thought myself as an artist. My paintings can't compare to the real artists out there who make amazing pieces of artwork. I had this mindset that art has to be this intense detailed work to the point of realism. By taking a couple of art history classes, it only strengthened my idea of art. The artists from the past really focused on the fine detailed in their artwork. I wanted to see what art was like today. So I visited the San Jose Museum of Art. As I walked through the museum, I noticed a lot of strange pieces of work that didn't really make sense to me. I thought to myself, is this art? This got me to wonder, how is art defined and who's considered an artist? Yeah, so mm, it's it's hard. I, I, um, I mean, there's like a very, tr because I'm interested in contemporary art, the definition is pretty open-ended. And, and I always think about in the 20th century, it's like artists got together and they sat down and made a list of what art is and then they just spent a hundred years destroying all of those rules. It's really all about intention. Um, and I really think that what it comes down to, um, you know, it's so subjective. Um, what I think is art and what you think is art of art is totally different. Um, but as far as the artist is concerned, it's all about what they are intending it to be. If they believe that it's art and it's uh, something that they're trying to express, then that is art to them. When I pick up a brush, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I just paint the first thing that comes to my mind. When I look at my old paintings, I never gave them much thought at the time, but I realized that I was trying to say something I couldn't put into words. And I was wondering, do artists reflect their everyday life or what is happening in their society at the time? And does this make me closer to becoming an artist? Uh, I believe Art that is uh, effective holds a mirror up to society. So it basically shows society a f picture of itself. And it could be a negative picture or something that needs to be uh, investigated or um, questioned. Um, otherwise, it's something to celebrate or something of beauty. All of my art has this minimalistic, simplistic style to it which is the exact opposite of what I am. I'm crazy, I'm all over the place, and I feel like my art is kind of striving for what I want, this, this peaceful state. So, you know, it's funny, when I, like, in the way that I use, when I teach art history, I use the art to help explain history, that art is a, it's a cultural product, and it reflects its time and place. So we can look at those objects and understand, it's another way to understand what happened in the world, and I think, the stuff that's happening right this minute, we don't have enough perspective to really understand what it means. But 50 years from now, it will make sense somehow. When I'm painting, it might not be the very best, or even something with amazing detail to it. What I do know is, what I make is art, and I need to embrace that I'm an artist. What I learned is that art is very subjective. Does it really matter if someone thinks an art piece is art, as long as the artist knows what that piece means to them? Because art is a way for me to say what can't be said. Even now I am lost for words, but when I start to paint, all my emotions and thoughts are intertwined with the colors, and the canvas tells a story. And the story will continue on, till one day I can go back to the painting and reflect how I felt in that moment in time. No matter how you look at it, art is art.